This is the Mainbow Analog Video Synthesizer. Its main features are a video encoder using hue luminance saturation alpha color space and four video function generators. It also contains glitch effects and filters for making sound responsive video patterns. It uses LZX style signaling and is available in NTSC and PAL versions. I'm selling this module as a DIY kit, link in the description. What I'm doing here is using two function generators to make an oval and sending that to the alpha channel. As I turn up this knob, the intensity of the alpha channel increases. If I keep turning it, it activates a wave folder, which produces a sequence of concentric ovals. Right now, the alpha channel is in soft mode, which is why there's a smooth gradient blending. If I hit this button, it goes into hard mode, and now it's a very sharp edge. Now I'm going to take this signal and send it to the hue channel, which is going to make some rainbow ovals. The hue channel also has folding and a hard and soft mode. All inputs on this module have built-in splitters, which makes it very easy to daisy chain a signal. I'm going to use that to send this signal to the luma and saturation channels as well. So now the pattern has some light and dark areas, as well as some areas of intense color and grayish. Now I'm going to take the external video signal, uh, mix it with a scrolling triangle wave, and then run that to the luminance channel. I'm going to move that to the Hue channel now. With Hue there are some extra options. This shift knob changes where the rotations start on the color wheel. Uh, this Hue limit knob collapses the range of colors that can be encoded. You want just pink and blue instead of rainbows. You can turn this down and then use the shift knob to set the starting point of that range. There's also this glitch knob which converts some of the color space into these glitchy patterns of lines. These function generators can make a huge range of shapes and patterns. Each function generator has its own monochrome video output, so you can connect multiple TVs and see how the pattern is put together. Now I'm going to give a quick demo of the audio filter. 